Hello everybody, this is Sandra Graves and today I'm going to be talking with my husband right here. That one that you see right here. That one. <laughs> that one. That's my husband. And um, we're going to be answering some questions. I gathered some questions from the internet so that you all can get to know him because you already know me. I'm the loud one, the screamer, the crazy one. Um, but now you're going to get to know more about um, my husband and I. So first, let's just start out. Your name? My first name is Sedat. Sedat. And you already know that I am Sandra. Yes, you yes. see how long it took him just to say his name? Sedat. Really? That was the simple question. Sedat. His he name is Sedat. So instead of you say this, you say that. So say that. That's what you say. Remember that. Anyway, first question that we're going to ask is, I know many of you, my guests on our ages and all that kind of stuff, but I bet you're going to be wrong. So how old do you think my husband is? And how old are you? 26. How old are you? Seriously. 26. Come on. Okay, tell them how old are you. I am not counting the sleeping time. <laughs> <laughs> no so, one. come on. 52. How much? 52. 52. Is that how old you're going to be this month or how old you this are? This month. This month you're going to be 52? Mm -hmm. And I am going to be 50 years old. 60. Woo! I'm gonna be the big five oh my goodness so I think I know you was wrong if you was wrong about this tell me in the comment below and then the next question is the first thing you notice about me when we first met and the first thing I notice about him when I first met him you first huh First thing. Huh? I'm thinking. First thing. This is, we don't have all day. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> What's the first thing you, th you thought about me when we first met? Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's, everybody knows that. So Everybody knows this is what <laughs> So the first thing. That he thought, uh, uh, what I said, that I, he noticed about me, or uh, he said that he's, that I'm crazy, okay? Um, the first thing I noticed about him when I first met him is that he looked angry. Like, he looked, you always have a, a face like that. So, <laughs> you see? <laughs> he always have that face. So, he noticed crazy, I noticed an angry looking man. So, yes, yeah, that's what we noticed. But, okay, that, that's, that's it for that one. Um, who gave the first kiss? Me. <laughs> that is a lie. Who gave the first kiss? You. <laughs> and me. I did. I did. We was in the tower downtown in San Antonio. And we had a date all day. From the day all the way to the night and we like each other and he never kissed me so I told him come here I need to take something out of your head and I kissed him <laughs> I mean he's waiting to drop me off or something that's that's taken too long I needed to try it so I did <laughs> So that's when you know I was crazy or before? <laughs> okay. So who said I love you first? Me. No, you're lying. Yeah. Really? When? I don't remember. That's what I'm asking. <laughs> when was this? When I said the first time I love you is to my salon. Yeah? yeah. I'm learning something. Because I... W I'm trying to remember, and I honestly don't remember who said it first. I 
save this. Look at how serious you said it. You said it first. That is so nice. <laughs> that is cool. I, I, and, and you said it? It was in the day or in the night? <laughs> I tell you later. <laughs> That is not part of the question, but I just want to know because I really don't remember. I know. Mid afternoon. I can't. I, but he said he said it first. So. Yes. He wanted to beat me something. Since I kissed him first, he decided that he was going to beat me with it. I love you first. So. I like that. I like that. And then the other one is who is a better cook? Sandra Graves Kurtlo. <laughs> I don't like to cook. When I cook, I cook good. But he loves to cook. And when he cooks, he cooks excellent. He loves to do it on the grill, but he can also cook in the real kitchen. And he loves to cook, but I don't love to cook. But you do like my food, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, whenever I cook. I don't have the choice. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean you don't have a choice? <laughs> it's good, that's why you don't have a choice. Ha! Ha! Okay, let's go. And who is more romantic? Me. Oh, he said it. Yes, you are. He is more romantic. I think I used to be more romantic before. Really? Yeah. I couldn't say anything. <laughs> Show me. He is more romantic than I am. How will you describe love? You go first on this one, not me. Patient. How will you describe love? Explain it. Not one word, but explain. Ten minutes later. It's so important. If you're not patient, you never get to win to love. That's good. You're so sexy. <laughs> <laughs> well, I do agree with him that love is patient because in my Bible it also is, it also starts with love is patient and First Corinthians thirteen love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast, it is not rude, it is not self seeking, it's not easily angered. But other than all of that, one of the things that I did learn um, about um, love is with this man is respect and one of the things that I didn't have before when I had a relationship is that I really didn't respect my partner when I got angry I just scream and curse and their stuff and that was not respectful so um, I would say some people are very patient but when they get angry they call you the B word, they insult you, they humiliate you, they do all that, and they lose respect for you. And that's one of the things then that I love about him is that we respect each other over all. And I have learned that for me, love is respect. And once you have that respect, then everything else is going to come because some people, they, they stop loving each other, right? because they get bored and all that. But if they respect each other, they're not going to be cheating on each other. They're not going to be humiliating each other because they respect each other. So for me, love is respect. One advice you're giving the people out there about relationships or whatever, and they're not saying one word. They said advice. One word. This no. is clean. This is no. for the men. <laughs> what advice do you have for the men and the women out there? About relationship, what advice? For men, smart man never fight there for female because he's never going to get the win. <laughs> Good advice. Listen. Okay. To him. And for women, female, please don't start to fight. Don't what? <laughs> don't start to fight. <laughs> Why? You gotta talk about something sometime. Because. When you start to fight, he's broken everything. When you 
you're so mad when you start the fight you couldn't see anything you yeah. drop at everything okay so you mean don't start the argument talk yeah. about it don't start it so how do you talk about stuff if you're not how i can explain mostly female so if i have a problem female. with you um, I'm a woman and I have a problem with you and you did something I don't like what should I do don't be use the bad word to front for the female mm -hmm. because when he use the start the bad word then he start using the same bad word too that's right okay if we never use the bad word then he never use the bad word to back. that's right don't use the bad word to front the male. And I can tell you that that is the truth. He have never cursed me out, even though I have tried at the beginning when we first started. He walked away, and he said, "Please talk. Tell my wife that I want to talk to her. I love my wife because this is not the woman I married. So we don't disrespect each other. That's what I was talking about. Respect is first because we don't." disrespect each other but my advice um that i go, i'm going to give is that it's for men and women and you both can take from this is that being with him um what i have learned is that here these are two branches and these two branches they are very firm if you actually can think of two, two sticks or two branches you know this is him because it's taller and thicker and this is me i am slender <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. I am not. <laughs> Hold it. Don't fly. If you win, you get to fly. Don't fly. I am Stay. the skinny one. <laughs> so when we came together, right? We were, you know, he's from Turkey. I'm from Panama. So we met each other in San Antonio. We come together a little bit, right? So then we came together. We get to know each other. We got to know each other. However. He's very stubborn and I am very stubborn from the time that we met. We have our personalities and all of that. I didn't just bend over and, and let him do whatever he wanted to me or he didn't bend over and do whatever he wanted to me. What happened is that the more we started respecting each other and the more patience he had with me and the more love we have with each other, you know, life is going to give you storm thunderstorm rain sun all kind of things are going to happen and then you are going to start becoming because you're you're going to get soft you know when you know he gets sick i get sick he get mad i get mad we forgive each other you get softer and then you start becoming more flexible right so you were really stiff before and then you start becoming more flexible so both of you are starting to become more flexible so you're waving together right like this and then after you wave together you start knitting together and this is how you start knitting together remember when you were stiff you could not knit together so now you are starting to knit together like this and then what happened is that you start becoming one like a tree and right now the reason why our tree is starting to get stronger is because we both have learned to bend we both have learned to be flexible we both have learned to compromise. We both have learned to respect each other. We both have learned all those things. So little by little, we are becoming one. And that's the reason why God talk about how uh, men and women, when they come together, they become one. It's because they start learning about each other. They start becoming one. Like when he's away from me, I miss him, but not only just his body, I miss who he is as a person because we are starting to become one. When we make decisions, we make decisions together when we do things we do things together and even when he go fishing and I'm here or I go somewhere we are still together because we are not only together in body but we are together in spirit and that's what I'm saying so my advice to you is that when you meet somebody if you decide that you are going to remain just the way you are and that person is going to stay just the way they are and you're not going to change you will never become one you always want to be separated because you are this person and he's that person and you're like well he's not going to change me and i'm not going to change and i want you're not going to become one eventually you're going to break and you are going to have to rebuild again but that's what i learned from my past relationship and this relationship is that 
with my husband, I am starting to become one with him. And that's the advice that I wanted to share with you guys. Do you agree? Yes, I agree. But I tell you something. Mm -hmm. Man or Explain. woman? We never changed it for the partner. Look here, Ashkin. I know, I'm looking there. Mm -hmm. Man or woman? If we not change the partner, they not doing nothing. They must be changing something in life. If you not change what? You know what I might did? I changed it you. You change it me too. If mm -hmm. you change it, we get it together. The one if you not change it, we never get the one one person. Yeah. So in other words, we have something to learn from each other. Um, and if you don't feel that you have something to learn from your partner mm -hmm. and your partner have something to learn from you it's going to be hard for you all to become one because you think you know everything or he think he knows everything so you can't really um, become one because you both are separate so when I, I was willing to make some changes because he set the example and he was willing to make some changes because I set the examples in some things so I can actually tell you that I am not the Sandra that I used to be when I was with, before I met him. Oh, I was, I was really worse. Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean? Yeah, I was, you know, you know everything. I was, I was, I was really worse than I am now. I was not as understanding. I was not as loving, but he's always been more loving than me. But he is more smiley now. He is more nicer now. Even though his face when is I like this. When I get the money, you never listen to me. I say something last <laughs> part. You, know? you don't have the, any choice that you listen to me. Well, I, li I actually um, learn to listen now. Even though I still, I'm still stubborn. But he's still stubborn too. You st look at his face. I mean, like, you, I don't even have to tell you that he's stubborn. Look at his face. If you have any questions, um, just comment in the bottom. Um, the whole point of making this video is just to let you know that when you love somebody, it's not about loving them one a year. It's about loving them how many times? Mm -hmm. When you love somebody, it's not about loving them one time in a year. It's about loving them when? 365 days. 365 days. That's the reason why I wanted to do this so that you know. I'm sorry, 364 days. <laughs> you know, one day, well, on the day, they tell everyone each other. 364 days is much. 365 days. You know, I know you guys all <laughs> just celebrated Valentine's Day, and a lot of people are going to be hating each other right now after Valentine. So don't let people set when a love date is for you. You set that day. Love day can be every day. Just surprise your partner with something special. Mm -hmm. Just simply picking up that phone and saying, I love you. Or sending a text saying, I love you. Or as my husband does just randomly, he will even bring me flowers or give me a card. Or just simply call and find out how am I doing. Or sometimes I am working and he stands in front of my computer. And I am just like busy. And he stands in front of my computer and let me know. I am here. For me, that is love because he's not arguing with me. It's just like, hello, I am the man of your dream. You need to pay attention <laughs> to me. <laughs> That's what he does. So I am just telling you, do whatever it's going to take to be respectful, to be patient, to be caring, and to just take care of each other so that you can become one. Like, we have become one. God bless you.